Hey all, today we are going to install some side steps on the van. So when this van was converted, it would have had a full length aluminum step all the way along here on both sides. That was gone by the time I bought the van, mostly because all of the mount locations were rotted. I have no desire to put that back in because that's not correct for the era of van I'm going for, but the kiddo and my partner both need a little help getting into the van. They can get in, but it's a bit of a step up for them, so I acquired these bully steps. These things seem to be ubiquitous basically everywhere. I bought these used. I got another one uh, returned from a store. So these just bolt to the backside of the rocker and provide you with a pretty sturdy step. So what I need to do is figure out where I want them and then they're designed to mount with sheet metal screws. What you're supposed to do is put two sheet metal screws in these holes to hold it in place and then drill two more holes wherever is good for you and put two more screws in. I don't like that idea. One, because I want to be able to clean the holes up before I put the hardware in. The other thing is I just don't trust sheet metal screws both long-term not coming loose and also for holding these nice and firmly in, sp in place. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to install riv nuts on the back of the rocker in the correct location and then I'm going to bolt these in place. That'll also give me the option if I want to later on the, down the line adjust these so that they're tucked a little bit further back in the van. I can just add a spacer between this and those riv nuts and be able to do that. I've got this set up both so I can show you and so I can better understand it myself. This is a 5 16th riv nut. It's got a flange, it's got this knurled end, and then this part of it is threaded. So you can put a 5 16th bolt into it. What you need to do is drill a hole, in this case 7 16 This goes in, and then the method I'm using is the method you use if you don't have a riv nut tool or don't have space for a riv nut tool which is I made this little bracket. It's just got a 5 16 hole in it, a little bend. So I thread the nut back up, screw this in far enough that I know that the thread is engaged all the way, which in this particular bolt happens to be virtually bottomed out. I think I'm gonna buy a, a, a deeper one for doing this on the van. And then after you've rescued your camera from where it decides to dive bomb itself off the thing you've got it on, I've got this wrench on to hold to be on the nut. And then this wrench I'm going to hold along with that Piece. This piece's purpose is to hold the rib nut hard against the surface and keep from marring up the end of it. And then by tightening down on this wrench, what I'm doing is pulling the whole rib nut in because I'm forcing this nut down. And since it can't go any further this way, the only thing it can do is basically pull the bolt out. And because the bolt is attached to the riv nut, it's pulling the riv nut, which is re mushrooming that ribbed area. If you ever used a pop rivet, it's a similar idea, just with a bolt. So crank that down so it goes nice and hard. Take these that wrench off. Loosen the nut half a tick, unscrew this, and then see that's now there, and if I pop this out, you can see on the back that it's mushroomed out, and because it's ridged like that, it's now gripping on here. This is not as solid as welding a nut in place, but it's pretty darn good. These are, these should not be used for very high torque applications, but for what I'm doing, this is perfectly fine. Like, and that's gonna hold, that's gonna give it a nice solid grip. 
And now this is just a threaded hole as far as actually using it is concerned. You can just stick a bolt in it and tighten it down. And it works exactly like you, if you had a threaded hole. So that's a rib nut. That's what we're going to be using. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to go under there. I'm going to drill two holes for two of the bolts so that I can put rib nuts in them. And then once it's in place, I'll drill the other two or possibly I'll put two sheet metal screws in Do it that way. Either way, whatever, it's going to get me to the same place. The holes in the sheet metal of the van need to be 7 16ths to hold the rib nuts. The holes in the word went away. The holes in the steps need to only be the 5 16ths to hold the bolt going through. So if I drill through with a 5 16ths through the um, step in through the sheet metal, I can then go back in and clean up that hole up to 7 16ths to then fit the riv nut. And then everything should be aligned close enough that I can just put the bolts through. I'm obviously going to use a washer, but that will give me the best bite. I'm going to treat the edge of the hole with just a little bit of paint, but I'm going to then immediately put the rib nut in so that it's all just kind of sealed in there. I think that'll be more than sufficient for keeping it all nice and solid. So yeah, let's, I got to go get bolts because I realize I don't have enough of the right size and then we'll get to this. All right. So here we are under the van. This is one of the legs of the step. This is the inside of the other leg. I just didn't bother to draw that line. So what I'm going to do now is rearrange myself so I'm not directly under it, so there's room for the step. And then I'm going to sheet metal screw the step in place, drill out two other holes, and then um, put rivet nuts in those, and then drill out to do top holes big enough to then put rivet nuts in up there. So let's get started on all that. Step is on and nice and solid. I'm very happy with that. So a couple things as I went along. I'd been using this step drill to get me out to the 7 16ths I needed because I didn't have a 7 16ths drill bit handy. The problem is for the lower hole I was bumping up against the inside of the rocker because of this depth. So I swapped to this step bit which hits 7 16ths much sooner. And then for my own simplicity, I put a little bit of Sharpie on there. So I knew that when this black area was up against the van, I'd gone down to the step that I needed. And then you saw me put the four rev nuts in. And this is in pretty, um, it feels like it has a little bit of play on this side. So I'm not exactly sure what's causing that, but I'll go back in and see if I need to tighten stuff up. But the lower holes I drilled straight through like you saw. What I decided to do was instead of installing those and then reinstalling it and re-drilling, I just drilled, I just pulled out the screws and drilled where the screws were for the upper holes. And then to give myself a little bit of fudge room, I ended up drilling the upper holes, not to the 5 16ths needed for the bolt, but one size larger to give me just a little bit of adjustment room since that upper hole wasn't drilled through this and into the body, so it wasn't perfectly aligned. But this is in, this is nice and solid, these look cool. I like these a lot, so that's gonna make it easier to get in. So now I need to do this one and the other side, but I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna bother to film that because it's just gonna be the same thing all over again. So I'll catch you once I've got that done. So I could put this step kind of wherever I wanted it, but I want the step on the other side to be at the same place. So what I'm basically just gonna end up doing when the camera's not in my hand is I'm gonna measure from the end here to where the step starts, which looks 
it looks like seven inches, but I'm gonna double check that. And then just transfer that measurement to the other side, line the step up with that and mark where I need to. And welcome to the next day. Other stuff came up, so I didn't get this finished yesterday. But I've got the second step in and they work great. They look good. The thing I like about them is they're not as intrusive as the whole running board and they give a little bit more of a period vibe than the much more sort of 80s running boards. And they're good and solid. They flex a little bit just because the panel they're in flexes slightly, but I feel very confident in them. And if I do end up having a problem, I can always reinforce the back. But no, I think these are great. They definitely made getting in and out of the van a heck of a lot easier. So I call that project a success. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.